when I start taking my random samples. Hard problems, the way people solve them, is any way possible. Whether it's um, disease and health research, climate, or if it's future of microelectronics, these problems do not belong to one discipline. They actually belong to many disciplines. And so we actually have to understand how the people who are on the entire other end of the scientific community think about the same problems. And that's where true innovation comes from. This is one of the, the real powers of being in a natural lab. We're in this fantastic place that has um, you know, many thousands of physical scientists spanning many disciplines. And we're all looking for what are national lab scale problems. Both Shashank and I had research endeavors that had been going on for a number of years, looking at basically different scales of microelectronics. And we ended up getting together, and what we found was that this sort of understanding that our brains have a tremendous amount of uncertainty in how it operates. Meanwhile, within microelectronics, we've been doing everything we can to get rid of uncertainty. And what we learned when we had this conversation is that there was a real opportunity to revisit some very basic assumptions about how one actually goes into building a computer that might make it more brain-like. CoinFlips stands for co-designed improved neural foundations leveraging inherent physics stochasticity. And what we're trying to do is take the noise that's inherent to devices and materials from thermal fluctuations from the environment, and instead of trying to suppress it, we're trying to figure out how we can have it interact and build systems using that noise. You flip a coin, you're going to get heads half the time, you're going to get tails half the time. But what if we can do build coins that are actually, you know, maybe not 50-50 heads, tails, but 70-30 heads, tails, or 90-10 heads, tails? Our synapses appear to do this. There's some synapses that are very reliable, some that are not as reliable some that are not reliable but learn to become reliable. Can we have that same level of control in how we build devices that allow us to actually make maybe a device more likely to communicate information or less likely over time? And if that's how we program things, what can we do? We're now at a challenge point where we cannot just keep using the same methods to improve computing and to improve our microelectronics. We have to start thinking outside of the box. The best way to do that is to have people in very disparate backgrounds, technical backgrounds, working together, talking about problems and brainstorming. And that's really what the CoinFlips project is all about. There are four co-PIs in the CoinFlips project. Each of us heads up a different thrust. I'm the applications thrust lead. And I head the circuits and architecture thrust. Uh, we have people from the materials and device side, such as Shashank. We have people such as myself who are more on the algorithms and the theory side. We have people who are experts in computer architectures. We have people who are using artificial intelligence to basically you know, put all of these pieces together. We call it AI-guided co-design, which actually is leveraging the ability to look beyond, you know, beyond just one or two connections and maybe use AI to actually bring things together from four or five different perspectives. The process of co-design and bringing together these teams is part of what I expect to be an enduring legacy of this project at Sandia. We have different kinds of hardware in the neural engineering and research lab. And our group has arguably the largest collection of neuromorphic devices, definitely in the US, if not the world. One of the things that we really want to use computers for are understanding things about our, our environment, our context, our economies that we can't predict with precise certainty. This would be the case in understanding how stock prices fluctuate over time, understanding where a hurricane may strike um, with increased level of certainty and prediction, um, understanding you know, what the risks are of a economic collapse in a, in a given country or, or situation. CoinFlips is funded through a Department of Energy Office of Science co-design and microelectronics program. And we're starting to see increasing evidence coming out of our project as well as some of these other projects that co-design really is quite impactful in this particular area of research. The unique aspect of it is that you have co-located research and production. So not just one-off hero experiments that won't work in a robust fashion. We can then move those into more of a production environment and make those devices more repeatable, more usable, and develop models that Jen's team can then 
apply to our systems and start thinking about, well, what are the implications of this new technology for this problem I'm trying to solve in particle physics. My entire career, I've found the most interesting, exciting, and impactful research happens at the boundaries of disciplines. And that's what we get to do at Sandia every day. And coin flips is an outstanding example of that.